When the world needed video games most, Activision got creative and said, here's another COD Battle Royale. It's quite cool. But instead of Black Ops, it's Modern Warfare. What are you doing? And from the sacrifice of Blackout, Call of Duty Warzone went on to take over the world. And my computer with a hundred gigabytes of love. People of all ages are dusting up their PlayStations, searching for their controllers, and trying to survive quarantine by avoiding their loved ones. Gaming veterans who long ago swore off the sticks are coming out of retirement to teach these kids how it's done. Oh, come on. They have families now, careers, responsibilities. But when duty calls, Zoomers will fall. Warzone is currently sitting at a massive 50 million users that will inevitably be a ghost town in November. And many people simply attribute this massive success to the current world crisis of being locked out of the Valorant beta. Haters will say it's a conspiracy. Activision is behind the global quarantine and the frogs, don't you see? Others will say it was sheer luck as the perfect storm of isolation, boredom, and boxed wine had everyone saying, Just give me a gun, I'll kill myself. Which could only be cured by giving people a gun, but having them kill other people. Or do nothing all day. But Call of Duty Warzone has something very special and unique. It's free. And like many free-to-play games, there are opportunities abound to spend your hard-earned money, meant to buy toilet paper, sanitizer, and food, on fashion. Gucci cowboy hat, Gucci. Supreme police vest, Supreme and Ollivander's murder Gucci. stick, and it'll only cost you 21 trillion COD points. Or how about PTSD Robocop? Look at the Jimmy Choo sunglasses, baby, and the Chanel peg leg. And of course, we've saved the best for last. You probably saw it at the Met. Shirtless Russian guy with eyeball nipple tattoos and puma sweatpants coming in at an affordable 11 cod points or four Russian rubles. Despite all this success, when Activision initially announced they would be coming out with another battle royale, I was like, this guy kidding? This is pathetic. And then Activision punched me in the face with their fast paced and fun gameplay that feels like Call of Duty. And I've spent weeks, maybe months of in-game hours on various Call of Duties throughout the years. And 15 minutes on Infinite Warfare, trying to get the next super duper pretty prestige emblem to show off to people that I don't like. It's safe to say I'm a crafty veteran when it comes to COD. And when I saw the massive influx of noobs coming into Warzone, I said to myself, Oh boy, here I go killing again. And then I died 15 seconds after leaving the plane because they're skill-based matchmaking. And my teammate said, This guy sucks. But one doesn't become a Warzone veteran with a significant other sapping their free time with silly stuff like socializing and love. So this isn't a review of what it's like to live with someone who plays Call of Duty Warzone. This is a review of what it's like to play Warzone, to stave off impending depression and loneliness from the quarantine. Drop in with your friends to play your favorite COD multiplayer locations. Get a pistol and then die to an RPG from Poonslayer69. Master the map, amassing your wealth doing contracts like scavengers, recons, and avoiding bounty hunters that this office meme captures too well not to use. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Everybody stay calm! What's the Everybody procedure, everyone? Calm. What's the procedure? Stay calm! Oh, they're here, they no. Okay, we're trapped, everyone for himself! Okay, okay. Oh. But thankfully, death is just another path in Warzone, and dying merely sends you to the Gulag, where all the other naughty boys have been sent to be punished. The Gulag is essentially Gladiator. Win the crowd, and you'll win your freedom. But by win the crowd, he means hope they throw rocks at the other guy and win your freedom by getting a single magnum shot to the head and bask in the enemy's anger. Son of a bitch! Only to drop back into the map and realize your squad of randoms already left. Activision likes playing God though and wants each of their 50 million children to experience what it's like to be Jesus. If Jesus came back like four or five times every game because the gulag isn't the only means of resurrection. 
Infinity Ward understands that dying and having to watch your friends sit on a mountain for 45 minutes causes every single player to say, Just give me a gun! Whoops! Uh, let's see here. Uh... I wonder. Person. Ah, I'm gonna kill myself! And so, in response to this crisis of boredom, Infinity Ward decided to answer one of philosophy's greatest questions. How much is a human life worth? $4,500 exactly. Seems kinda high. Dying in a game of Fortnite or PUBG is like, That's it, screw this game. But dying in a game of Warzone is exactly the same, just more times. That. Dude, Where this is so God damn it. dumb. How the f did that not oh go again? Fuck you, fuck me, ass. The game keeps you engaged and glued to your screen because you can be back in the hot action at any moment. Dropping into the playing field on your parachute, gliding in to help your friends. It's gonna be epic. It's gonna be violent. We are gonna fuck them up. <laughs> are you serious? I pulled out my shoe! But there is an evil aspect to Warzone's desire to keep the player in the game. Because not only is there a gulag and buybacks, but oh god, self revives as well. Whoa, 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 whoa. Every single time you kill someone, you have to assume they'll stab themselves with their EpiPen and be back into the hot action in mere seconds. Leaving you saying, Why won't you die? But Warzone also changed and improved on a blueprint leaving behind those silly building mechanics for more realistic and fun gameplay, like climbing stairs. Okay, one more, one more, here we go. Oh. Yeah, that was fun. I'm having fun. Call of Duty Warzone will test you, your communication, your aim, but most importantly, it'll test your driving. As you'll find, a car is actually the most effective murder machine in the entire game, which is perhaps Warzone's most lifelike feature. But running people over isn't only an effective and efficient method of killing, it also happens to be the most fun. Call of Duty Warzone turns everyone into a sadistic Uber driver, where you'll be given a star for every person you manage to mangle en route to your destination. And after hours of running people over with cars and maniacal laughter, my girlfriend got pretty concerned and said, I don't have a girlfriend. Undoubtedly, the best aspect of Warzone is the sound of bodies crunching under the weight of your giant truck and making the same joke 40 times. You boys like Mexico? Who knew vehicular manslaughter could be so fun? GTA players. But it's all fun and games till it happens to you. And it will happen. Jesus! You begin to fear the cars. The mere idea of their presence sends shudders down your spine. The apex predator. Every buy station. Every poorly rendered block. They could be waiting. Do you hear that? What, the gunfire coming from literally every direction all game? No, not that. I thought I heard... Honking? Honking? Jesus! Warzone does a lot of things right. But one thing it does so, so wrong is audio. You can't tell how far or close anything is. In the entire game, you're gonna hear gunfire from every possible direction. You'll be fighting in lumber and hear gunshots from seemingly snobby shores. And then some guy will parachute in and sneak into your building, and you'll never hear a sound. Do you guys hear footsteps upstairs? Yeah, yeah, I did, I did. Let's just, just crouch, watch, crouch, crouch, walk. Wait, 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 wait. Do you hear that? No? I thought I heard... Honking? Honk? Oh no, we're good, we're inside, we're inside. Let me just find the lights. Here we go. Jesus! Like any great video game, Warzone will teach you about life. Don't be greedy. But I'm greedy and I want my M4. <laughs> 10 seconds later. Oh! I got greedy! Don't talk to strangers. Can I wear your balls as a hat? And don't help your friends because they'll just hold you back. Oh, died for my sins. 
But perhaps most importantly, and relatably, don't drink and drive helicopters. You boys like me? Call of Duty Warzone can be a frustrating game. What? Seriously? But it's all worth it for that one game where all your hard work and skills align. And you get lucky and the final circle closes on that really tall building you're camping in. The Gulag Hero, getting run over, going to Mexico, all worth it for that dub. It's all about the dub. Call of Duty Warzone was an unexpected surprise. Is that what I think it is? Mm-hmm. It's beautiful. God damn it, what is it? <laughs> it brought new life into a genre that already feels a bit tired. There are some elements from other BRs that I miss, like trolling and team killing. But Warzone has done many things for gaming. It's brought friends and family that have long forsaken their consoles back. And it's not just because of the pandemic, but perhaps because the game is fun and maybe the best way to survive quarantine as a single lonely man. And at the end of the day, isn't that what video games are all about? Do you guys hear something? I just got ran over by a helicopter. Epic snipe time. Yeah, because I no fucking way. locked on. God damn it. Hey you, stick around to the end to see some stream highlights. Follow me on Twitch so you can catch this silliness live. And then maybe, you know, comment and like on it because YouTube likes that kind of stuff. Um, and thank you to my patrons, Manderson, D's Nuts, and... TTF Brony TV and all my other patrons love y'all. Stay safe out there. Jesus! Um. Ooh! I'm here to party. Hello. That boy got aim. Are they fighting someone else? Or is that Nikki? No, they're fighting me. Nice. The man. Wait, wait, from what the, the man? <laughs> what? Yeah. Hey, uh...